Hi everyone, I'm Shaylin here with Reedsy, and in today's video I'm going to be trying different writing softwares. I screen recorded myself trying them, um, and I'm going to give my thoughts on these different softwares and what I think their benefits and drawbacks are. I ended up not using any kind of rating system for these softwares, but I think they could all benefit the right person, and it's just about finding which software will work for you. I don't think there's necessarily the best one um, or the worst one. I think it's more just about looking at your writing process and figuring out which tool is going to be most beneficial for you. So the softwares I tried in this video were Scrivener, the Hemingway app, Noveler, the Readsy Book Editor, and Focus Writer. They all serve different purposes. In the end, I think they all have great pros. I would recommend pretty much all of these to the right person. It's really just about looking at each software and asking yourself, do these are these features going to help me or are they going to be a hindrance to me? For a bit of context, I didn't use any of these as my regular software prior. The only one that I had used before was the Readsy Book Editor. The rest I'd actually never used before. Normally I just use Microsoft Word for everything because it's kind of just where all my files are. I have like decades worth of files that are Microsoft Word files and so it's kind of just the easiest place for me to go to to write. So that's kind of what I'm comparing everything to just because that's what I normally use. So all of that said, I hope you enjoy this video and I will just cut to the review section of this video. All right, so let's start with Scrivener. Scrivener is one of the most popular writing softwares. I'm sure a lot of you guys have used it or even tried it. I had actually never tried it before. I'd been kind of a Scrivener skeptic for basically no reason. I don't even know why. And I really, really enjoyed this program. It proved me wrong. And so what you're seeing in the screen grab is actually just me going through the tutorial. I probably spent like an hour and a half going through this tutorial. Um, it's a really expansive program. There's a lot that you can do with it. And I thought going through the tutorial would be the best thing to show in terms of getting an idea of what the program entails because I'm still like such a Scrivener beginner. So Scrivener is designed so that each project you have a binder that stores your draft, which is separated by chapters and scenes. You can also organize them through a note card function. You can kind of view the way your book is structured through several different modes. Um, and all your planning and your research and your notes is also stored in this binder. So I think I'm, so the best thing about Scrivener, it, it's how expansive it is. From the binder to the note cards to templates, um, you can set goal trackers. I've barely scratched the surface in the few hours I looked through it. For that reason, I'd say Scrivener is ideal for anyone who has a more complex or detailed or organized writing process. You know, if you do a lot of planning, if you do a lot of research, if you have a lot of notes to keep track, if your project is very complex, Scrivener would be ideal. Um, I'd say it wouldn't be as ideal for someone with a very simple process, it might actually be more than you need. You know, speaking for myself, I'm a discovery writer and sure I have a couple notes documents, but for the most part I kind of just <laughs> draft all in one document pretty simply. It's possible that it could be more than you need. Um, there is a bit of a learning curve, you know, here near the end I started importing the novel I was working on and I really did like how easy it was to visualize the structure and to navigate through the project. So. I would definitely recommend Scrivener, especially because there's a free trial um, and it's not a huge investment if it seems like a good program for you. So next up is the Hemingway app. Um, I don't have a ton to say on this one. It's basically an online app. It's free. It's used for editing. It has a really simple interface. Enjoyed this app. I personally wouldn't draft in it. So in this example, I'm just writing out a random bit of description as an example. This wasn't my favorite interface to draft in. It's a little too simple. It doesn't really have any features but I thought the editing features were fantastic. It has great analytical features, it picks out adverbs, tangled sentences, passive voice, all the stuff that, you know, I'd normally have to comb for in my edits. Um, it just picked them up while I was drafting. I could definitely see myself using this app again for editing and to run what I write through it. I wouldn't draft in it though, so especially if you're learning to line edit, it'll definitely help you identify weak words or constructions. You know, like it picked out some passive voice for me that like I probably would have had to catch an editing. So now we're on to Noveler. So Noveler has a free trial and it's $10 a month after that. Setup is a little similar to Scrivener where you have this binder on the left to organize your draft. Um, it also has several lighting modes, which I really liked. Um, I didn't draft in this directly. I just kind of pasted a chapter of my novel in to kind of get a look at how the program is set up. The main thing to note about Noveler is that it has a lot of analytic features. So tracking how much you wrote per day, keeping track of goals, um, it gives you this detailed breakdown of how much you're writing. My thoughts on Noveler are, this is kind of the only one that I wouldn't recommend to most people, and it's because it's not a bad program, it's a good program, it has good features, 
but for something that's paid and requires a monthly subscription, I think you can access similar programs that would be more functional for free or just for less money. You know, Noveler, it's like $10 a month. Within a year, you could have bought Scrivener twice. I would recommend Noveler to people who really want to track their writing in a very analytical way and do a lot of analytical work on their writing habits. The drafting features are good, but they're, they're fairly standard, and I don't think it's worth paying for, in my opinion. If it were free, I'd highly recommend it, but as a paid app, I do think you can get more for your money. So that said, now we're going to look at the Readly Book Editor. This is um, our word processing program you can use to export to ebook publishing file formats. So I'm familiar with the Readly Book Editor. I've used it before. It's pretty similar to Noveler in terms of setup, but it's free and I do find it more functional. Um, they're very, very similar in terms of how they look. Noveler does have more analytic features. Readly Book Editor has more editing features. Um, so again, it has that Scrivener-esque binder on the side. I added in an epigraph because I love epigraphs. I was actually really excited to notice that there was like a specific place to add an epigraph. I put one from Old Man and the Sea because I was writing a random example about the ocean. Um, there's also a track changes feature that I found really easy to use, way easier than Microsoft Word. Um, so this would be great if you're editing for someone else. Um, and, and great formatting features. I've used it several times before and it's very easy to navigate and use. I think it's a good alternative to something like Noveler that's free. And in my opinion, I would prefer it to Noveler anyways. Um, sorry for all the hating on Noveler. Noveler's a good program, but you've got to pay for it. So finally, we have Focus Writer. This one's a little different. It's very simple. It's basically designed for focus and not much else. I really like writing in focus mode in Word, and I love the idea of a customizable focus mode that you can set up to look however you like. Love this program in theory. In application, it's a little buggy. It froze, um, it crashed once as I was setting it up. As well, it, it doesn't really have a lot of formatting capabilities. You know, I don't even think you can bold or italicize. At least those shortcuts on my computer didn't work. Um, and the font is extremely small. So if you're if you're setting up a focus writer template, make the font huge. The font I had here was um, Garamond 13 point, which is what I write in in Word. It was practically unreadable. I couldn't even read what I was writing. So I could see myself using this because I like the idea. It really only has one function. It's basically a customizable notepad, essentially, and really nothing else. Doesn't have a lot of functionality, but I do like the one function it has. If I was struggling to focus one day, I could see myself using this. Really, my biggest concern is just that it's a little buggy and I would be worried about losing work if it were to glitch. So that's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what your favorite writing software is in the comments. Have you used any of the softwares that I tried in this video and what did you think of them? Thank you so much for watching. Remember to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any new videos from us. We've got new writing, editing, and publishing tips every Tuesday and Friday. Until next time.